Another guy who's intriguing, this is the guy who you have uh, slotted at the Knicks at the two. Obviously, he's more than likely the, the front runner for the two spot right now in the draft. That's R.J. Barrett. Uh, what, what's your overall opinions on, on R.J. Barrett and how he could potentially fit with us? Sure. Um, I think Barrett is uh, uh, one thing you got to remember is he's actually the number one recruit in his high school yes. class. Yep. He was ranked ahead of Zion on everybody's list. Um, you know, uh, more of a, you know, he's definitely an NBA ready player. He's been playing at a very high level, um, you know, internationally for Canada the last few years. Uh -huh. uh, and has performed very well. A better all-around player than Zion. Um, the only player in the country averaging uh, at least 20 points, seven rebounds, and four assists per game. Um, so it kind of gives you an idea of what exactly he can bring to the table. Um, needs to improve, you know, a little bit as a facilitator. Um, yeah. His deep, yeah. defensive effort kind of waxes and wanes. It's, it's probably not where you'd like to be. Um, but, uh, you know, sees the floor well, is an unselfish player. Um, so I, I think of uh, – he actually probably is a little bit of a safer pick um, right. than Zion Williamson, but but as we talked about, even if even if the GM, all the scouts in an organization say, listen, I, I think I'm probably leaning towards R.J. Barrett, mm -hmm. you know the owner of whatever team has the number one pick is going to be like, yo, we got the number one pick, we're about to sell like 10 million jerseys and, yeah. and sell out the tickets, so Zion's the number one pick, but um, uh, I, I think uh, R.J. Barrett is a very good consolation prize for whatever team gets a number two overall pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I see, you know, a lot of fans like to, you know, uh, compare the, the the similarities with Timmy in terms of his terrible shot selection and his tunnel vision. Um, but you know, I like the points that you made in your article with the numbers that he's putting up. He's he's doing it at Duke. He's yeah. you know at the creme de la creme. He, he's playing at an elite level. I still like his mindset. You know, I, I just like the way he he attacks the game. Yes, you know, the defense leaves a lot to be desired, and and yes, the tunnel vision you can see it, and sometimes he does force the issue, but. I, I feel like he, he has potential to be to be really good at the next level. Agreed. Um, yeah, he's definitely not, a, a, you know, a Tim Hardaway um, one-dimensional player. Because if he doesn't score, if he goes into shooting slumps, he still can impact the game defensively. Um, he's a decent rebounder for a player his size, um, a solid passer. Um, so he's definitely a lot more versatile, proven winner, um, a lot to like there with R.J. Barrett.